hello kids welcome to another exciting edition of flax do you remember the meaning of flax you do let's say it together four square light arena kids square very good at flax we learn about god and have lots of fun first let's all say hi to jesus take your right hand and lift it up and give jesus a high five hi jesus thank you for a brand new day did you do it very good kids do you remember that this is the month of may and in this month we talk about families last week we learnt about love kids you know how some things in life are very important like eating fruits having your bath every day and brushing your teeth do you know the bible tells us that there is something more important than all these well that's what we are talking about today we are going to be learning about obedience can we spell it together o b e d i e n c e it's a long word right don't worry it comes from a short word called obey o b e E Y Obey. Let's go to our memory verse. Are you with your Bible? Can you tell mommy or daddy to open it for you? Colossians chapter 3, verse 20. Let's read it together. Can you see it on your screen? One, two, three, go. Children always obey your parents for this pleases the lord can we say it one more time children always obey your parents for this pleases the lord now can you try it without looking at the screen or your bible close your eyes let's go children always obey your parents for this pleases the lord very good now it's time for uncle jimmy to tell us a story uncle jimmy where are you here i am our story is titled the disobedient boy there was a man who had two sons the first was called Harry, while the other one was called Barry. They lived in a small house. One day, the man needed to go to the store to get some items for the house. So, he told the boys to finish their homework before they went outside to play with their friends. The boys were excited to hear that they could play with their friends. As soon as their father went out of the house, the boys talked about how they would play outside. Harry was going to run around with his kite, while Barry was going to make sand castles with his friends. Harry then remembered that they had to do their homework first and went to get his books out of his bag. Barry, still excited, went to the window looking at his friends playing in the mud. He then decided that he would go outside and play a little before returning to complete his homework. Harry reminded him on what father had said but Barry would not listen. Barry's friends were excited to see him and they all started building sand houses and castles. They were having lots of fun and Barry forgot about the homework. Harry finished his homework and joined the kids 
playing outside, running around with his kite. The boy's father came back from the store carrying some items. The boys ran to meet him, helping him with the load and following him into the house. The father was however disappointed to find out that Barry had not done his homework before he went out to play. He told Barry that he would not be going out to play for the next seven days and gave Harry a new pair of shoes for being obedient. The End Thank you, Uncle Jimmy. Did you enjoy the story? Did you learn something in that story? I'm sure you did. Do you know what it means to really obey? It means when your parents tell you to stop doing something like picking your nose or hitting your little sister, then you stop doing those things. Obeying isn't just stopping when you are told, it also means you go ahead to do the things they want you to do. Things like your homework, washing the dishes, or going to bed. Now, you may not want to always obey your parents. Well, here are three reasons why you should. Number one, the Bible says so. You don't believe me? Let's read our memory verse again. Children, always obey your parents for this pleases the Lord. See kids, it's in the Bible. That means it's part of God's message to us. If God says we should do it, we should definitely do it. In fact, this is what the Bible is saying to children and not adults. It doesn't say, hey kids, go get a job or eat lots of noodles. It simply says, listen to your parents and do what they say. Number two, it pleases the Lord. That means it makes God happy. Don't you want to make God happy? We should all want that. It's what we are supposed to do as Christian kids. And if you want to be really good at making God happy when you are older, you should start obeying from right now. And number three, obedience protects us. So let's imagine we're in a circle that looks like an O. O is for obedience. The Bible says, God's rules and our parents are there for our own protection. So think of the O in obedience as a circle of protection. When we obey, we are safe. But when we disobey, we are out of the circle and we are in danger. Get the idea? It's for your own protection. So let's remind ourselves again why we should obey our parents. Number one, because the Bible says it. Number two, because it pleases the Lord. And number three, because it protects us. Are you going to be obedient kids from today? Yes? Good! So here's our home activity. Can you write down five things that your parents have told you to do and you start doing without grumbling or complaining? It could be reading, stop watching TV, making your bed, or stop picking your nose. And when you are done writing the list, show it to your parents and ask them to pray for you like we are going to do at the end of the program. It's time for the Flax Chat! Today we are going to read it together once and then we will sing it together with the Flax Band. Are you ready? 
put your right hand on your chest and say after me God is love God is light God is life and he lives in me very good give yourself a high five now let us pray thank you lord for teaching us today help us to be obedient to our parents help us to be obedient to you help us not to be disobedient children in jesus name we pray amen thank you for coming until next time bye bye